In this video, I'm going to teach you how to very easily solve the Alex problem calculating molar heat capacity. So in this problem, we're given a lot of information about a molecule. We're given its mass, a temperature change, and the amount of energy associated with that temperature change. We're being asked to calculate the molar heat capacity. The biggest hint that we have for solving this problem is the units that are preset in the answer box for us. The units are telling us that we need um, some kind of result that has units of joules per mole, time Kelvin, mole times Kelvin. So what we're gonna do is just literally take all three of these variables out of the problem. So we're gonna find all three of these things and we're just gonna plug each one of them into this particular setup in this exact way. So we're gonna take the number of joules that has been provided to us in the problem. The problem tells us that we are dealing with 14.3 joules. Now we're not gonna worry at all about the sign of this. If, if heat is needed or heat is lost, we're not gonna worry about that at all. Um, the moles, this is gonna be a little bit tricky because the problem is giving us the mass. So that means we have to do a gram to mole conversion. We have 510 milligrams of this C9H10O2. Uh, we need to begin by converting that into grams, doing a milligram to gram conversion. Milli is the prefix for 10 to the minus three. And then last but not least, we're gonna use the molecular weight, 150.17 grams per mole. Again, that molecular weight it comes from adding up C9H10O2. So I'm going to use my calculator really quick to get this result, 510 times 10 to the minus three divided by 150.17. And this gives me 0 0.00360 moles. And we'll plug that in to our little equation that we've built here. And then the last piece that we need is the temperature. This is specifically referring to the change in temperature. And because as I've talked about before, that um, when we're talking about delta T, delta T in units of degrees C is gonna be exactly the same as delta T in units of Kelvin because the temperature scales are equivalent to each other. The increments are equivalent to each other. So we can get the temperature change, the difference in temperature right here, 62.8 minus 47.1 is 15.7, 15.7 Kelvin or 15.7 degrees C, it doesn't make a difference. 14.3 divided by 0 0.00360 and divided by 15.7. This gives us an answer of 253 joules per mole Kelvin.